So without further ado, let's welcome our third product announcement. And for that, I'd like to invite Harsh from Push Protocol to have them talk about something super exciting that they're launching today. So please give Harsh a big round of applause. Hey everyone, and GM Tokyo. I'm Harsh, project lead and founder of Push Protocol. And today, we are going to talk about something very interesting and something which is very, very close to my heart. Web3 UX and how we can push the boundaries of it. So why do we care? Well, we care because we want to bring a billion users to Web3. And we need to remember, a billion user does not equal a million devs. Devs are like you and me. We love to solve a problem. We will dig in deeper, no matter how abstract documentation becomes. Because our job is to figure the tech out. But users, users are a different story altogether. Users, they want to use the product. They don't want to know the tech. They want to use the product because that makes their lives 10x easier. They want to use the product and be notified about important decisions so that they can make them. And they want to do it in the shortest time possible. And that is what Web3 UX needs to focus on, to ensuring that the users use the product and the tech is abstracted away. And that is what Web3 UX is all about. And to be honest, a lot of efforts are going on in Web3 UX just to solve these problems. For example, account abstraction. That's making sure that we are eliminating the steep learning curve which is required by a new Web3 user. Meta transactions. That makes sure that the tech is abstracted away and the users are only focused on the features. And Lens is a great example of that. Even the UI of dApps are improving. A lot of UI and a lot of dApps now don't require a wallet to be connected just to show the interface. Instead, you only sign or execute a transaction by connecting the wallet. And Uniswap is again a great example about it. But perhaps one of the most crucial thing that Web3 UX needs is communication between a protocol and its user. And that's what Push Protocol is all about, enabling communication and re-engagement between users and between developers and their users. In fact, Push Protocol has made its mission to revolutionize Web3 UX by providing Web3 developers and users a lot of communication protocol stacks which they can use to enable the next era of communication in Web3. And this is what we are going to focus on today. We are going to focus and talk about push notifications, push chat, how they have transformed communication landscape, and the next product that's coming from push. So let's get started with notifications. Well, you might have observed that whatever we do in our Web2 life starts with a notification. No matter what we are doing work-wise, Slack and Gmail will notify us, and that's how we go back and complete our work. Even if we are on social media, the tweets that we write, or the LinkedIn posts that we do, all of the engagement, whether our tweets are going viral or not, everything is driven by notifications. And it's there in every aspect of our life, no matter if it's gaming, no matter if it's uh, social media, no matter if it's banking, everything comes to you via notification, and that's how you go back. And that's why a notification is the fundamental communication primitive that everyone needs to use. Even something as personal as chatting on WhatsApp is not really chatting on WhatsApp as much as it's chatting via notification on WhatsApp. And very excited to say that notification for Web3 was started by Push from ETH Global back in 2020. 
And this is a nostalgia trip down the lane. We started by writing to Ethereum Foundation, got accepted to Hack Money, and then finally got judged. The solution was to create a decentralized communication protocol that enabled any DAP, any smart contract, any protocol, even Web2 services, to send on-chain or off-chain notifications that were tied to a user wallet address. And because this was done through an open communication layer, it meant that crypto dApps and crypto wallets can just tap into the network and show these communications out to you in a secure way. Of course, next was push chat. Once we did notifications right, we knew that this can usher a new era of communication across all the applications. Just like how Apple launched notifications back in 2009, then WhatsApp came, and Apple Video and FaceTime came. Just like that, push chat was the next step in the communication journey. It finally enabled wallets to talk to each other. Not only that, because it was a protocol, it made sure that developers can build on top. It also introduced the Web3 native communication rail in access controlling and gating your chats if you want to. And it made sure that developers were now able to talk, to create Discord, and to negotiate NFT marketplaces, and so on. And Push Chat is, of course, live at app.push.org. And you guys can go and try it out. Also happy to announce that we are working with Gitcoin Grants to bring Web3 messaging and notifications to Gitcoin, Gitcoin Grants, and more. So just these two communication protocol stacks alone made sure that Web3 communication started terraforming. From push chat and push notifications, push has basically powered over 30 million notifications, sent over to 85,000 subscribers, and have over 500 plus integrations, which we lovingly call as friends of push. Some of the protocols that are powered by Push are Uniswap, Lens, Coindesk, Bankless, Shapeshift, and so much more. But yeah, what's next? So let's recap. We launched Push Notification from ETH Global 2020. We launched Push Chat from Columbia ETH Bogota 2022. And super excited to announce that we are launching Push Video from ETH Global Tokyo 2023. And probably because this is a video, we should have a video play on screen. Uh, hello, Polygon fam. Excited to be interacting with you via push video. Um, you know, I hope all of you uh, or some of you at least have tried uh, using ZKEVM already. If not, like do try bridging to uh, ZKEVM and try to see like what uh, user interaction feels like on ZKEVM. GM ETH Global Community, excited to say hi to all of you on push video. Hey everyone, this is DeFi Dad from Fourth Revolution Capital. Excited to join you over Push Video as we kick off a new era of decentralized social networking. GM everyone, excited to be speaking on Push Video, a key feature of the Web3 communication stack. GM instead of FM, uh, very excited to talk to you over Push Video. The era of decentralized social networking is here. GM is global. Very excited to talk to you over Push Video. The era of decentralized social networking is here. Wag me. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for the claps. So really excited to announce 
the next era of social communication push video just it works just like facetime utilizes notification to inform the wallet it's pure wallet to wallet and because it uses notifications to carry your pin info and web rct to establish the connection it's completely serverless we call this the era of decentralized social networking just if you want you can go ahead and build on the push video protocol right now it's also user centric which means it's a spam protected using the access control of push chat or push video or push notification protocol we feel that it unlocks the potential for doing so much with communication some of my favorites are it can improve streaming gaming economy it can usher a new era of creator economy it can enable web3 social to be more social and on chat and so much more one last thing we always end our presentation by telling our viewers where we are going next excited to say that web3 ux is about to become real good next up is push spaces incentivized chat message gating and so much more thank you everyone for listening in you can check us out at push.org if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them arigato thank you so much harsh